The casino heist is extremely difficult as you have to hack everything, every guard it takes a full mag to kill and it's overall impossible to do silently is what you think. As all of this kerfuffle can be removed completely or made extremely, extremely easily. And the best part is you can still do this completely solo. It's not something that you do in the heist, but more what you do with the prep work. As you would have most probably noticed that there are some missions that are not required to complete to start the heist. These are optional missions. And although these aren't required by the game to start the heist, they are absolutely mandatory if you don't want players crying up your ass and leaving mid-heist. Now allow us to take a quick little goosey gander at the planning board. Here you'll find patrol routes. These will give you the locations of all the guards on the map and in essence will basically make this heist a normal ass mission and you'll know where everyone is at all times. Completing dug and shipments will be an absolute game changer especially if you're trying to do this silently as this will get rid of all the armor on the guards so long as you blow up all the targets. However it is is extremely easy to do so but also not only will it get rid of all the armor but it will also decrease the weapons the guards have so in the fact of when you do so when you will eventually get caught it will be a lot easier to fight them as their guns will be shitter now security intel is one that everyone should do as you only have to do this once and then after that you will never ever have to do this again and you will forever have the locations of all the cameras which will be very helpful as these cameras are sly little fackers and i can already tell that most of you have probably been caught out by one of these cameras and you have absolutely no clue where it is because you haven't done this intel mission but again do it and you'll never have to do it again. Now the power drill mission is the only mission that I would say you could skip as nothing good has come from these power drills. Now finally the security pass will bypass absolutely every hack within the heist apart from all of the ones in the vault. So long as you select level 1 and level 2 key cards, this mission is not harder than level 1 but the results are much much better. And even if you don't want to do some of these optional missions like you can't be bothered getting the key card for the 1 millionth time, that's completely fine. Just pay for it and then you'll be all good and dandy. Now obviously the only downside to buying these works is obviously your profits are going to be less within the heist and again if you do do it with randoms they're not going to expect you or even care that you bought the prep work they're just going to want a fair share. So really when doing the casino heist the only thing you shouldn't have ticked off on this list in the top right is acquire the masks and the power drill. Everything else should be ticked off before you begin the heist and this is how you make your adventures extremely easy and it only takes probably an extra 20 minutes to complete these missions. Completing these missions will actually make life livable and won't make players rage quit when you're spending five minutes on a hack trying to remember what the last passcode was. And so now instead of wasting those five or ten minutes trying to complete the hack or to kill a guard why not invest that time and go check out another video maybe this one on the top right hand corner everything you'll probably enjoy that one that or you'll definitely enjoy one on the end screens and if you go ahead and check out either of those videos then thank you so much i hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next one